Classify the edentulous space shown in the figure according to Kennedy's classification. In the image over here, we have a mandibular uh, framework design. What all is missing? So number of teeth missing. Let's just note it down. Missing teeth. Okay. So this is our third quadrant and this is our fourth quadrant. In the third quadrant, we have three, four present. So three, five, three, six, three, seven are missing. Fourth quadrant, four, five, and four, six are missing. Okay. Now, in the given situation, the last tooth missing here, posterior most, is three, seven. Correct. And here we have two edentulous spaces. This is space 1 and this is space 2. Of this, we have to identify which is the posterior most space. So, posterior most space is certainly space number 1, where we have more teeth missing. That will determine the classification. So, coming to Kennedy's classification, this is class 1, where you have bilateral edentulous spaces posterior to the remaining natural teeth. Class 2 unilateral edentulous area posterior to the remaining natural teeth. Class 3 is a single unilateral edentulous area surrounded by anterior and posterior teeth and class 4 is a sing single bilateral edentulous area crossing the midline. So this is 4 and this is 3. Now in the question this side is class 3 and this side is class Two. So which one should you go for? So you have to see the posterior most edentulous area. Posterior most would be class 2. This is according to rule number 5 according to Applegate. The remaining edentulous areas are designated as numbers. So rule 6 and 7 will tell you that you don't have to count the number of teeth. You have to just count the edentulous areas and designate them as modification spaces. So here, this is one space. So this becomes modification one. Okay. So the correct answer is class two modification one. Similar uh, question here. This is again class two modification one. I hope you are understanding if this is unilateral and posterior most. This is an additional space, so it is a modification space. So this is class 2, modification 1. Again, this is class 2, modification 1. Here, in the first case, there are two teeth missing. Still, you will say it as modification 1 only. In the second one also, it is modification 1. Despite the number of teeth being different in both of them, that, that is not considered according to Applegate's rule number 7. Okay. The third one here is class 2 modification 2 so this is class 2 posterior most and one space and second space and in the last one this is the posterior most space so this is class 3 modification 2 so this is class 2 mod 1 class 2 mod 1 class 2 mod 2 and class 3 mod 2 